Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add portfolio to Shopify. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, you might be wondering, how do you actually add a portfolio uh, section on your Shopify website? Well, this one is actually pretty easy and we'll be using a different website for us to add that. But first things first is we need to access our editor. So in this case, go to Shopify.com, log in into your account, and you want to go to your online store section here. Now from here, what we need to do next is we just need to hit on the button that says customize here. Now we won't be changing the code itself. We just need to customize and view the editor itself. Now once in here, we need to go to the appropriate website, which in this case is going to be elfsite.com. Now from their website, what we need to do is we need to create our account or log in into your account. By the way, you could even use your Google account to create your account or just basically sign in. In this case, once you've done that, what we need to do next is we need to look for widgets. Now the top left here, go ahead and choose widgets. And from here, what we need to do is we need to look for the appropriate one. So in this case, go ahead and click on widgets so that you'll be able to see the widgets webpage here. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to search for portfolio. Then in this case, just type in portfolio and you should be able to see the widget for portfolio. In this case, let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to start editing our widget. Now, in this case, there are going to be some elements that you can change in the widget itself. But for now, let's just wait for it to load up properly. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to choose our template. In this case, you have the product photographer here. We have web designer, video production. So in this case, just choose the appropriate one for you. So for now, we'll be using the illustration option here. Now from here, what we need to do next, just click on continue with this template and you can just basically change the images that you see here. In this case, you could even choose this image here. So whenever you click on a specific image here, you can change the name itself, the category for it, the year, description, the project details, and even the website if you have those. Now you could even add pictures or videos here if you want to and even change the already existing photos in here. Now in this case, you could also add the preview picture here if you want to as well. So let's just go back to content here. Now in this case, you could just change the categories, the widget title itself. So there's going to be a bunch of customizations that you could try in here. But in this case, you could even change the layout itself like grid, masonry, a list. You also have the project option here, which in this case helps you to uh, determine the project style. Now you also have the project info to display and action to project click here. Now you could change the action on project click, info will display on pop-up, and even change the styles here if you want to like the portfolio style here, the backer color, text color, the pop-up, custom CSS if you want to include that or if you're familiar with CSS, you could add that and custom JS if you want to as well. But in this case, once you've added all the customiz customizations that you want, go ahead and click on add to website for free and it should redirect you to another page here, which in this case is going to be the actual uh, editor itself. In this case, uh, let's go ahead and just click on the publish at the top right, sc uh, right screen of your screen. And from here, you should be able to see different plans that you could actually get. Now, in this case, we'll be getting the free plan here, which includes one widget, no projects, only bug fixes, and unlimited websites. So we could use this widget here. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and click on select here. But if you want to use a basic pro or premium here, you can go ahead and do that. But for now, let's go ahead and choose the free one. In this case, you should see this embed code section here. Let's go and click on copy code here. Let's go back into our Shopify store. And from here, let's just scroll down a bit, click on add section. And from here, what we need to do is we need to look for a specific section here, which is going to be custom liquid. In this case, it should uh, redirect you to the bottom here. In this case, go to the right section here, click on right uh, liquid code, paste your code that we just recently copied. And once you paste that, click on anywhere on your screen. As you can see right now, this is the current look of our portfolio. Now in this case, again, if you want to customize the look of your uh, widget here, you can just go back to offside and customize anything that you want to. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.